Today I'd like to read to you haiku and a couple of tanka that I've translated by the great modern master Masaoka Shiki, who died tragically of tuberculosis at age 34 in 1902. A child takes one step, the grass is green under her soul. And now the most controversial of his haiku, and I'll explain why after I read it. Coxcombs, 14, 15, it's hard to tell. In Japanese, Keito no Jushigo Ho mo Ari Nubishi. The reason why this is controversial is a lot of critics and scholars think it's one of his best haiku. And similarly, a lot of them think it's one of his worst. Coxcombs are flowers that all grow together in a bunch. So all he's saying is it's just hard to tell how many there are. And this underscores the fact that a lot of haiku are very matter of fact and mundane. They're actually observations, very dry observations. And the beauty of them, the drama of them, is in the fact that they are mundane. So many Western poems soar and haiku glide. So I'll read that once again. Coxcombs, 14, 15, it's hard to tell. Here's a tanka. Awaken from my nap and from my dream by intense pain, I wipe my body of sweat as the roses scatter. Back to a haiku. A crow has stopped on the earthen wall in the spring rain. Drunk a new sake, the driver upbraids his horse, feigning nonchalance. Locusts buzz the paths between the rice paddies and the daylight dims. The hollyhocks extend to come face to face with the summer solstice. This is interesting because in Japan, aoi or hollyhocks grow from the bottom up. And it's said in many parts of Japan that when they get to the top, the rainy season has ended. Finally, the mountains in summer and all creation green and a red bridge. <laughs>